All right, guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned that whenever we use the open function, it allocates some resources and memory to the file. And after we use the close function, it releases those resources from the system. And if we don't release this memory, it might give us some errors. So it's always a good practice to close the file after we open the file. Now, this memory allocation and then its release is not only used in file handling, but in other kind of things as well. For example, listeners. We will be using these listeners to listen to keystrokes in future videos. But for now, just understand that this listener also requires some memory allocation. And then after the listener has done its job, we have to release the resources. Now the function of the with keyword is that it releases the memory automatically. So if we use the with keyword, we don't have to type in the close function. So let's actually do that. Basically, we are going to rewrite these three lines of code using the with keyword. So we are just going to put with first and then I'm just going to copy this open function and paste it over here. And then I'm just going to type in as F and then put a colon. Now, what is this as F? So in this first line we are using, we are saving the instance of the open function in the F variable. Similarly, in the with keyword, what we are doing with the as keyword is that we are saving the instance of this open function inside F. And then inside this width, we just need to paste this f.write function. So let's copy that and paste this over here. And then we don't really need to close this file because that is the function of the width keyword that it closes the file automatically. So let's just remove all these three lines from over here. And that's it. These two lines are enough to create a file and then write inside that file. So let's actually remove all of this stuff from the log.txt file so that we know when we run this main.py file whether it's working or not. So actually re let's remove this backslash n also and let's run this main file. And let's go back to our log.txt and as you can see it says hello again. So that means our with keyword is working. Now this might seem small of a change to you but when you're writing a lot of code sometimes you might forget to release the resources. And this will create a lot of problems. Or maybe if you are using something like listeners in which you don't really know when you are supposed to release the resources, the with keyword comes in pretty handy. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to control the keyboard and listen for keystrokes using Python. So I will see you over there.